Now I'm going to drag So here somewhere here lies the hypothalamus below there lies the pituitary the anterior part of pituitary and the posterior part of the pituitary so and here lies your thyroid gland the thyroid gland so ultimately what this hypothalamus does hypothalamus releases a hormone known as trh thyrotropin releasing hormone this hormone it goes to the pituitary it stimulates the pituitary to release tsh now tsh is released from the anterior part of the pituitary so this tsh will stimulates the thyroid so this this tsh stimulates the thyroid to release out its hormone to release t3 and t4 t3 known as triiodothyronine and t4 is thyroxine actually my handwriting is quite poor so what happened that when t3 and t4 levels are low in the blood t sh levels increases and when t3 t4 levels are high the tsh levels are decreased this negative feedback this negative feedback this negative feedback is actually carried out through the somatostatin so now we are going to explain you a few things first point is that tsh acts on tsh receptors which are present on the thyroid gland the conditions below are the conditions and the diseases where they signify something for example if tsh level are decreased and t4 levels are increased this condition is found in a disease known as graves disease now if tsh level is low and t4 level are also low this condition is known as secondary hypothyroidism another condition is if tsh levels are high and t4 levels are low this is seen in hashimoto thyroiditis and cretinism another condition if tsh levels are high and t4 levels are also high so this condition is seen in pituitary adenoma thank you for giving your valuable four minutes